Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Factorio with Bob's mods. So, this is just starting to annoy me a little bit, having to come down here. So, we're going to clear out a little bit more tree. And actually, we do have grenades. Bear with- these might be really loud. I don't know. Because I- I load- okay, just- well, let's find out. Oh my god, holy crap. <laughs> uh, what would that one be? Environmental sounds, maybe? Game effects, probably. Did that one get quieter? I, I can't really tell. Yes, okay, that's the one. Good lord. Alright, let's put that like here. a little bit of space. That's like the one sound of- I mean, it makes sense that it's loud, it's a freaking explosion, but still, my god. That was loud. Let's see, now this feels quiet. Alright, let's turn it back up just a little bit. This makes me nervous. Damn explosions. I think I'm gonna need a few more of those. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking, is that we, um, basically just set up the same type of little smelting layout that I've used before, but down here, and we get rid of the burner miners. Alright, that is so concerning. So, for now, let's just turn you guys off. A large area drill would probably work better down here, but I don't have that researched yet, so. So, we're not going to worry about that. Um, Okay, um... Wanna replace that mining drill. And... We do need to send some copper up north, but we also need to send a bunch of it that way. Alright, let's get the, the large area mining drills done now. So we've got shotgun shell shooting speed. 20%. It helps out. Let's upgrade you to a better drill. But we'll also shift you over a little bit. It's like here. And actually, I'd rather have it like this. Oh, I did this wrong, didn't I? Yep, and I bet that that ran some freaking copper up there. And this is not going to work anymore either now. Such a messy factory! Um... Nope, nope, you can't go up there either. So I had it set up so that we had... Let's just do this. That way the rest of this stuff won't stop working on us. But it sure is messy. And now I gotta go check to make sure that there's no copper ore messing everything up. Which there most certainly is. These smart inserters would probably have been fast enough to fix it, but I don't want to risk it. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we actually need a second 
level two miner here. But we don't need this much iron, apparently. You do not need that. We do need more copper. We want to make more bullets. So I guess we could upgrade bullet or uh, copper production down here. And eventually, I'm going to need to just like make better transport belt. Like if I could clear this whole area out, I'd just rather have one belt of copper and one belt of of circuits. You know, using Sharing the belt is just more about convenience, because i that's all I've cleared out so far. Alright. This series looking alright. A little bit more copper production now. Pollution still seems okay, but now notice, notice how we're, we're starting to pulse into that area. That is very concerning. I do have quite a few bullets. I could put up some more turrets. And how many walls do we have? 100? Well, I could try to just wall this whole area in. Now that we have steel tools, they're a little bit more efficient. A little bit easier to go through these forests. I could use the grenades, but... It just feels wasteful. You know? Waste of copper, maybe. Not copper, sorry. Waste of coal. And then the wood that we could be using for making the electronics. Not that there's any shortage of wood on this map, that's for sure. Feels so slow, only having five science labs. Let's put some guns right here. Hey, large area mining drills, cool. Um, bum, bum, bum. Logistics 2 could be nice. I think we need to start doing like electrolysis and chemical processing. Let's get those going. Well, I do have better armor. I do have some grenades. We do have a few upgrades to weapons. Could probably go up there with some turrets and kill that other base. I doubt that I'm anywhere near the ability to kill the big one. So the wall's not quite complete. That's good. If we upgrade this to some better, uh, better stuff, what if we just did a, um... Yeah. Alright, so the large area mining drills. Let's take a look at those now. So the large area mining drill, as opposed to the, the, the Mark II electric mining drill, all right, chemical processing, that was quick. Let's get um, electrolysis now. It has a mining area of 7x7 seven seven instead of 5x5. Five five. Mining speed of 0.75 and a mining power of 4. So it is better by 33% on the mining power and by 50% on the mining speed. So 
it goes up to 150% and then by 1.33. So it's basically a 200% mining speed compared to the level one for 171 kilowatts, which 171 divided by 90 would be 90% more. So it's 200% of the power for 190% of the power. Sorry, 200% of the mining power for 190% of the actual power. So again, more efficient. Um, and actually, I forget already if this one was 256 divided by 90. Are we actually... Um, hmm. They're both better. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. They're both better than regular. We've got air compressors. Um, but the, the large area mining drill is just more convenient because it's got a bigger area. Usually. 82,000 stone available. That's good. So you can smelt at two times the speed of a regular one, and a regular one can support one stone steel furnace. But stone takes two units, so I think that this is the right ratio. Actually, it looks like the number's creeping up slowly. That's okay. Definitely more efficient than what we were doing a minute ago. I like thinking about the ratios. Bob's mod, like, really makes me spend more time thinking about that stuff. Is there a gap in there? There is now. Alright, I'd like a couple turrets here. Also, we need to build some turrets for the actual push. Let's get a bunch of them queued up. I don't want to put turrets there yet. It's going to take too long. Alright. So, yeah, I've done a bunch of research just now. A bunch of new stuff. And people are probably wondering, like, what's that all about? What's that stuff do? Um, so we should probably go ahead and start using those things. Only 43 piercing rounds. We could make a few grenades. Via robot. Get a few grenades. I only want like a maybe a hundred. Okay, air compressors. Let's get um I mean eventually we gotta do oil processing, right? Well, we'll do electrical energy distribution so we can start making some bigger electrical poles. They're just convenient. Let's sub in the better armor. Let's destroy some of the stuff that I don't need anymore. Like, we're not going to be using wooden boxes or iron armor anymore. We're not going to use that burner inserter. We're not going to use these extra electrical poles. We're going to start using steel chests now that we have access to steel. Get a few of those made. Okay, um, I have 1,100 basic circuit boards, so there's certainly no shortage of that. Well, I think that the next morning, we'll go and we'll kill that other base. These don't really need to be here either. I could use some more gears. That's something we should have set up. See, so yeah, I had gears being made for my, from for me initially, and then I I stopped it. And every time I do that, bad things tend to happen.
I'm okay with it just making a, like a just ridiculous amount of gears, because you can really never have too many of them. Although eventually we'll want to have other types of gears. Steel gears and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so... We've got good armor. Significantly better than what we used last time. We've got piercing rounds this time. We've got faster shotgun shell and, and regular shooting shell... Regular shooting speed. Um... How many gun turrets do I have? 15 on me? Okay. Um, it's not morning yet, though. It's middle of the night. We should probably wait. I think it'd just be better to wait. Till day. How are we doing on actual power? We're right up against 5 megawatts. Which is concerning, because that means that if I want to go any bigger on the factory, pollution's going to go up. We're already going to get attacked by that thing eventually. So I, su I suppose the best thing to work on right now in the middle of the night would be shoring up this wall getting it ready to defend. We'll use some grenades to clear out the trees that are over here. Right about here, maybe? Good god, is that loud. First time I need to make a repair pack. Destroyed part of my own turret. Okay. That feels a little bit better. Need more ammo. I'm pretty much totally out of regular ammo. I guess I'll put two more turrets here. Harden the noise. Shall we make some regular bullets for the turrets, or just give the turrets piercing rounds? I mean, I suppose... The, the regular bullets are just the far, far more economical. Because... If you look at the amount of damage that you get from one of these clips... Let's work on... What are we the most likely to use next? I can shell damage. I know I'm gonna be killing bases. It's almost morning. Right, so this gives us five steel one steel plate is equivalent to five five iron. And it gives us ten shots that do four point four plus two point two damage. Times 10, so it does 66 damage for 5. Yeah, I mean, obviously, regular magazines are just far, far more economical. But... Gotta make a bunch of them. Oh, wow. Well, there we go. There's a bunch of them. I'm gonna turn the sound effects back down again a little bit, so that we can go out in the morning and blow stuff up. Okay, we have 104 piercing rounds. We've got 500 of these rounds. I think we're ready for the next base. Need to get some stone brick. Plenty of tin plate now. I don't really need the tin plate, so we're, I guess I'm just going to create like a little storage area. We can put some of the stuff. Uh-oh, we're under attack. As expected, we're being attacked from the east. Weakest point in the defense. That's not good. We 
very small attack. Like, probably only one biter. But it's gonna get worse. Should do the same thing here. We should upgrade these to... I want to I want to do the math on this. I want to figure out which one is actually technically better for pollution. I don't care about mining speed. Just talking about pure pollution. So, all right, I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to go do some math on this and I'll be right back. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.